everyone welcome to the next session of strength of materials in this session we are going to discuss about the rankine gordon formula now we are shifting to another formula for calculating crippling load or the crippling stress because euler's formula had a limitation euler's formula was applicable only to long columns which was failing under buckling only so the short and medium columns were completely not considered the rankine gordon formula is commonly known as rankine formula rankine devised an empirical formula applicable for both short and long columns short columns fail by crushing load that time when we design the crushing load we say it is sigma c that is crushing stress into the cross section area long columns fail by buckling load so when we design the buckling load using euler's formula it is pi square ei upon le square in practice columns or struts fail due to combined effect of crushing stress and bending stress but when we design we generally say that it is only by crushing that the short column is failing and by buckling that the long column is failing so this is all theory but in practice you will see that there is a combined effect of both so let's discuss about rankine formula the formula given by rankine is 1 upon pr this pr stands for rankine load is 1 upon pc plus 1 upon pe now let's take an lcm so this becomes pe plus pc upon pc into pe this is 1 upon pr so therefore pr will be pc into pe upon pe plus pc i have just taken inverse over here now let's take this pe from here to the denominator so this becomes pc upon pe plus pc upon pe so this will be pc upon this term becomes 1 plus we are just segregating the term so this becomes pc upon pe so this is the formula for pr now i am going to individually substitute the formula for pc and pe therefore pr which is pc that is sigma c into a upon 1 plus pc that is sigma c into a upon pe that is pi square e i upon l e square now we know that i is a k square so when i substitute here i will get therefore pr is equal to sigma c into a upon 1 plus sigma c into a upon pi square into e into a k square upon l e square so this area gets cancelled and this l e can be shifted here so i get sigma c into a upon 1 plus sigma c into l e square upon pi square into e k square here sigma c into a upon 1 plus sigma c upon pi square e can be taken as one term and le upon k the whole square can be kept as another term this term sigma c upon pi square e has been labeled as alpha which is rankine's constant therefore the formula for pr becomes sigma c into a upon 1 plus alpha into le upon k the whole square so this formula is used for calculating the crippling load or critical load by rankine's method now this method as you can see is applicable for both short and long column because when it was designed it is making use of the formula of short column and long column both here if i assume that the column is completely short then i can neglect this term and if i neglect pc term i can say that the formula is only applicable for long column so generally rankine's formula is neither for short 
nor for long columns it is actually for medium or intermediate columns because it is making use of both of them now rankine's constant is a property of the material of the column the value of rankine's constant alpha and crushing value sigma c for some materials are given below you can just go through these values suppose if i talk about wrought iron as the material the crushing stress for it is 250 mega pascal and the value of alpha is 1 upon 9000 when i talk about cast iron the value of sigma c is 550 mega pascal and alpha is 1 upon 1600 same way for mild steel the value is 320 mega pascal for sigma c and rankine's constant is 1 upon 7500 and timber the value of crushing stress is 50 mega pascal and rankine's constant is 1 upon 750 you can just remember these values uh, in case for solving numericals you can use it so with this i end the session i hope you have understood the rankine's formula and its usage in the next session we will discuss about numericals on this topic see you in the next session thank you mm -hmm.